This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. We might have situations where different users will have different email addresses based on certain criteria. Let's say where they're located. For example, let's say everybody at ITDVDs.com that's in Arizona will have an at az.itdvds.com email address and then maybe everybody else in all the other states or countries will have an at itdvds.com email address. Well we can create an email address policy to make that happen. First let's go over to accepted domains and add the accepted domain for the new email address domain. So I'll go ahead and click on the plus sign here and I'm going to call this one az.itdvds.com and it's going to be authoritative so I'll go ahead and click save now let's go over to email address policies let's add a new email address policy so policy name I'm going to call this one AZ email policy email address format let's go ahead and click on the plus sign here let's add the one we just added az.itdvds.com priority we'll talk about that in a bit now who do we want this to apply to all recipient types or only the following recipients we can have it just apply to users with exchange mailboxes mail users with external email addresses resource mailboxes mail contacts with external email addresses or mail enabled groups so let's say I just want this to apply to users with exchange mailboxes I'll go ahead and check that box and I want to further set my criteria here and add a rule so I'll click on add rule and we'll select one I'm gonna select state or province and anybody that has a state or province field of AZ go ahead and click the plus sign to add it will get this email address so alias at az.itdvds.com now where is it looking for this AZ if we go over to Active Directory users and computers and I'll just go up to Larry Fitz here, double click on Larry Fitz, go to address. We can see state province. Larry Fitz has AZ in it. So if I scroll down a bit, click on preview recipients, the policy applies to, we can see exactly who this is going to apply to, and we see it's going to apply to Larry Fitz. And it's also only going to apply to users with exchange mailboxes. And Larry Fitz has an exchange mailbox. I went ahead and created one for him. So I'll go ahead and click Save. The policy isn't active yet. Click Apply in the Details pane to apply the policy. Click OK. Just highlight my AZ email policy and click Apply. Now if we go over to our recipients, take a look at Larry Fitz, we can see, and we may have to click Refresh to see it, L Fitz has an at az.itdvds.com email address. If we double click on it here and go to email addresses, we can see that he actually has two. Lfits at az.itdvds.com and lfits at itdvds.com. This is because when I initially created the mailbox for Larry Fitz, we just had the one email address policy for itdvds.com. So it created the email address then and then we created the new policy for AZ, so it created the another, another email address. When we do that, it doesn't delete email addresses. So just because we created a new email address policy, it's not going to automatically delete the old one. That is the old email. And this is kind of a safety precaution because if uh, Larry's receiving email from LFITS at ITDVs.com, we don't want to accidentally go in and create an email address policy that deletes an email address that he's using. Now I could manually go in here and highlight it and get rid of it. Now when new users are mail enabled, so we create a mailbox for a new user, only one email address policy is going to apply. So if I just mail enabled Larry Fitz, he would just have this alefitz at az.itdvs.com email address. For example, let's go ahead and create a mailbox for Sean Campo. If we just look at his address here, he's got an AZ in his address. And I'll go ahead and cancel out of this. Let's create a new mailbox, user mailbox. Let's go ahead and browse. Select Sean Campo. Click Save. 
There it is, scampo at az.itdvds.com. If I double click on it and go to email addresses, we can see he just has the one. So basically, when email addresses apply, only one email address policy is going to apply. But that email address policy is not going to remove old email addresses that a user may have.